Hello house lovers and yes another glorious day in sunny Melbourne this deep and dark winter but let us not talk of that let us talk about vermiculated coins and in fact let's talk about facades in general and no not the Edith Sitwell poem which I know was your first thought and not the presentation of myself I'm giving you which is not a facade but literally the facade we've got to that interesting point where we've got to start stipulating to council what colour the exterior of the building is going to be. Now, this white render was put on, unfortunately, just before the building was sold to us, which is unfortunate because it's uh, very modern and tough to get off. But anyway, what we had to do, figure out a way to do some test strip samples to see if we could um, ascertain what the original colour underneath was. Now, what was the original surface of this building? And this sort of decorative finish on buildings is called ashlar. What is that? So our house is made of brick and then the brick has been covered in basically a sort of a cement render and then outlined to make it look like stone and originally it then would have had a, uh, a sand finish washed over that cement which looked like Often it looked like Sydney sandstone, which is a very beautiful, rich honey colour. And Melbourne has lots of examples of ashlar surfaced buildings. So it was kind of a poor man's stone. So if you couldn't afford or didn't want to use stone as your principal building material, you use brick and then you finish that brick to make it look like stone, which is what our house is and lots of other buildings in the area. Let's go for a little tour. There is our glorious building, there is the neighbour's building that was once a pub and there is a little pair of cottages next door and this here <laughs> is a vermiculated coin. So there is this fabulous house just around the corner, slightly grander than ours, shall I say, and it has been restored by the guys that we're talking to to restore our facade. You can clearly see how the uh, upper story has the ashlar render to make it look like stone blocks, but in fact they actually do have blue stone blocks on their first floor. And then literally just across the road from us on the other corner is this fabulous 19th century triangular old store building. Probably it would have been a shop or a, a mercer of some description. It has the original ashlar surface. You can see those deeply scored sort of fake stone blocks. And what these people have done is put a lime wash over it to sort of even up the colour, but essentially restore the original ashlar surface. And you can see from the buildings either side of ours as well that that was very much the, um, the surface treatment du jour for our little corner of Carlton. Now, what are we going to do? What I did yesterday was apply three different sorts of exterior paint stripper to these patches here to get a sense of which one is going to work best. And so now I'm going to peel them off and see what does lie beneath. I love it. So the name of the game today is to do a little test strip on the ashlar surface on the outside of the building. And the name of that game is to just see what the colours might be underneath. And that we will use as the basis for our colour match to then submit to council for hopeful approval. And I'm also going to do a little cheeky test strip patch uh, on the cast iron columns to get a sense of what the colour might have been underneath, which I think might be oxblood red. Interesting, house lovers. So, strangely enough, the one that had the paper application was the least successful. This one has got down the most, and you can see there's this uh, lighter cream layer underneath. But then under there, I think this darker stonier colour might be the original one. So. What I'm going to do is apply another patch of stripper to this area and uh, see if we can reveal more of that surface. And if we look at the column, we've got that same light cream that we see on the brick facade. And then down the bottom, we have got a, uh, a sort of a dark green color. And underneath that is this sort of oxblood red color. And underneath that, I'm not sure. So I've applied another layer of uh, paint stripper to see what lies beneath that. But house lovers, we shall go inside because I did actually do some test samples in the hallway. I'm loving this look, aren't you? Now, yesterday we had some ashlar specialists come through just to have a look and give us a sense of what we could do with the facade, which was fantastic. They've done all sorts of great buildings in Melbourne. And we just wanted to talk to them about this hallway. As you can see, there are these marks across here, which indicate 
stone blocks. Now, they're not stone blocks, it's brick. So in some form or another, it was decoratively treated to look like maybe marble slabs or who knows what. But the question is, what sort of finish is that? Is it wallpaper, which could have been put on at any point, or has the hallway been ashlarred? Apparently that's not that uncommon in Melbourne and these guys had just restored a building in the city that did in fact have an ashlar lobby. So I've applied some of these patches inside as well to strip off nearly 150 years worth of paint and possibly wallpaper to see what lies beneath in the hall. Okay, house lovers, here is the hall sample, and I kind of got excited when this dark color turned up, but, but that's actually quite a recent color. Underneath is this sort of creamy color, but the wallpaper, it is wallpaper. So these marks across here, this kind of um, tanny bit here is the wallpaper base. And when you get up to here, this stripper took all of the surface off. You can see that there's that line that came down here and it disappears under the plaster. So the plaster is completely smooth. And so what that does mean is that our hallway was not ashlard. It was in fact wallpapered. Uh, you can see where the lines don't um, transfer underneath to the plaster level. Hey ho, uh, what that does mean though is that someone, probably me, is going to have to strip the whole wall so we can get a smooth surface again. There we are, house lovers. <laughs> Exterior paint finishes 101. We have explored our facade. Uh, I'm kind of interested to see what this uh, patch might reveal underneath that cream color uh, to see if it is in fact that kind of rich sandstone. So watch this space. I'll peel it tomorrow morning and uh, see if I can slip it into this video so we can get a sense of what it really is going to look like. There we are, house lovers. Thank you once again for joining me this week as we stripped away my facade to see what really lay beneath. Uh, not too sure yet, but we'll keep probing and I uh, will fill you in on that. Take care. Melbourne is still in lockdown. It's all pretty serious here. Um, so we'll see what I'm able to get up to next week. Things might get a little tougher, but anyway. Fingers crossed on that front. Take care. Have a great week. Thank you for watching. You know you want to hit like and you know you want to hit subscribe. Thank you very much. And until next week, see you later.